Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I have seven tips for you today for when you're knitting for baby. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We are knitting for babies this week. I love knitting for babies. There's something about it that just lasts forever. Um, the patterns go on and on, we can knit the same thing over and over again for lots of different babies and it's something you can do any time of year as well. Babies just keep coming, they keep arriving. So what we're going to talk about is the seven tips. So let's go through them one by one and I have an interesting announcement for you at the end and I hope you'll be excited about it as I am. Let's get started with that first tip. So this first tip is that what you're knitting will very likely de decide the yarn for you. A lot of people use vintage patterns um, for knitting for baby and the yarn that was used just isn't available anymore. So we have to be canny and recognise that different fibres will probably be suitable for different types of knitting when you're knitting for baby. I love using cotton for blankets. Cotton, linen, hemp, bamboo, anything that's easily washable. And also what I like about cotton is it's heavy and there's something about having that weight on the body um, just for helping you sleep. Um, you may well have come across weighted blankets for children and for adults. I really love the idea that that extra weight helps any age of human get to sleep, be they 8 months, 8 weeks or 88. So that can be um, something you want to, might want to think about instead of using acrylic which will do many many more meters per 100 grams you just get those extra balls of yarn um, so that it is more weighty so what you can also think about is the washing washing will be much easier with cotton or linen it's not going to shrink it's very unlikely to shrink so something like the baby blanket is perfect like that it will just you it will wash over and over again what I also like to knit with for babies is merino. Merino is a very soft wool and if it's mixed with cotton then it has that extra um, structure support to it um, so I love using it for um, baby hats. They don't get washed that often so the shrinkage problem doesn't really occur. Um, I love using merino cotton for baby cardigans and jumpers as well so just be aware of that too. It's those fibres are out there, experiment and see what works for you. So my second tip is to also think about where the finished item is going to sit. Will it be next to the baby's skin or will it be over more, more layers of clothes? So for example, the baby blanket that I just mentioned, it will be next to the baby's skin um, probably quite a lot. They're going to be grabbing onto it and they may be wearing it when they're actually not um, wearing anything other than the nappy. So just be aware of that too. I really like to use cotton, like I said, um, not just for the fact that it's easily washable, it's heavy, but the fact that it's smooth and it's really comfortable to have next to the skin for a long period of time. Um, I really like using linens and cottons too for scratch mitts. If it's going to be close to the baby's skin, we need to remove any um, really f strong fibres to it, such as you will find in acrylics and wools. So, just move over to those um, more natural, smooth yarns and the baby will be much happier. The third tip is please do not add extra items to what you're knitting that may be dangerous. You may find vintage patterns that add really fancy buttons to a cardigan or lots of ribbons or such like and baby will pull it at, pull at it, they'll see, feel the texture and it may pop off and it may end up in the mouth. Um, especially some of the buttons that you find, they um, have got odd shapes to them like a duck or a bunny rabbit or something like that and then parts of it may um, chip off um, and then it will be dangerous. So just be careful with what it is that you add to the finished knit just to add that extra embellishment. A lot of baby's knits don't need that extra embellishment. It's um, more for the people who are with the baby than the baby itself. So yeah, just, I would say avoid those until they're at least three or four. By that time, they can say, oh, that's a fancy, fancy button. I love having penguin buttons on my cardigan. Then it's all just part of the bargain to actually put the cardigan on. Oh yes, I, desperately, I will put the cardigan on and keep myself warm because it's got penguin buttons on it. 
So just recognize that for baby is probably not useful or even necessary. So the fourth tip I have for you is to not only be aware of the yarn, but also the way that you're knitting it. So some yarns will have more give and more balance to them than others. And this is why I would really suggest actually going to a yarn store if you can, or testing yarns out for smaller items first, um, before you start knitting them. For example, if you're knitting a baby blanket with mohair yarn and it's really lacy. Mohair, mohair yarn has very little give to it. It's taut. You'll notice that from when you knit it. It's not spun from multiple threads, so it doesn't have the bounce to it. If you knit a baby blanket with that, then a baby gets finger caught in part of the lacy holes and can't get its finger out. It's actually going to be really uncomfortable. The baby will start crying and you don't want to encourage that distressed feeling in a baby. You just want them to be warm and comfortable. So just be aware of that because that can happen in lots of different yarns, not just the tight mohair. If you're knitting with really thin yarn for baby, just be aware of the pattern that you're using. Are the holes, are the knit stitches so close together and so tight that it could be dangerous for the baby as well? There are cases of the baby um, getting fingers caught and actually having a problem and needing to go to hospital. I've heard of them personally, so just be aware of that. And this is one of the reasons I actually like knitting with thicker yarns when I'm knitting for baby. I love using Aran yarns, worsted weight yarns, which is a medium thickness, the kind of yarn you'll knit with for a five or five and a half millimeter needle. And then by that point, the stitches are looser, the stitches are further apart, the yarn is thicker, um, and it's got more bounce to it. Getting a baby's fingers stuck in between the stitches isn't a problem. All right, we're gonna pick some colors now. Tip number five is how to pick those colors. This can be something that can actually just grind you up because oh I don't know whether it's a girl or a boy what do I what color do I use I don't know neutrals is your general safe bet obviously but how about we just push those boundaries a bit more what you can do is go for muted neutral colors so yellows oranges mauves purples lavenders and then you can go for the greens as well so that kind of movement into those, so it's a brighter colour rather than your average baby pastel. Giving that little bit of interest away from the pastels and whites that you would normally get for baby. I love using colours for baby that are just that bit different. We do, like I say, have so many pastels for baby, so many pinks, so many forget-me-not blues that it can get rather frustrating. I do have pastel colours in my shop for cut for baby, just those few, very few. But I've generally gone for shades that are much more of a bright tone. They are still muted and they're not really in your face bright and neon. You will be surprised what's out there. So just take that extra step and say, okay, I will try that and use those different colours. And the, actually the parents will be quite pleased to have something different. The extra tip I'll give you here is to look at what the parents are using for the nursery. If you are knitting for someone who has gone full out, decorated a nursery and bought a whole series or a whole collection of items for the baby, you can look at them and go, oh, they're using the jungle theme. I'll knit with greens, oranges and yellows. Oh, look at them. They've gone for the ocean theme. I'll knit with lots of blues and greens and possibly some yellows as well because of the seaweed and the fish. Really connects with what the parents have chosen and then you will be the winner. <laughs> They will love you forever and that baby will be using the items that you've knitted for much longer because they match the nursery. <laughs> so tip number six, and you probably know this if you've had children yourself. What do you do when they start school? You buy the school uniform that that's a little bit too big so that, yes, you can turn the trousers up so that your daughter's skirt will be that little bit too long when she starts and then it'll be probably a little bit too short when she finishes the year. So what we're going to do is say, right, let's get ourselves organized, knit so that it will fit the baby for longer. When that happens, we can turn the sleeves up on cardigans and that's fine. And then it will last an extra three months or an extra six months. And what we can also do as knitters, if you're ready and willing, is to knit one size and then have the, the pattern ready, the yarn ready, to once you've given for one size, you can start knitting the next size as well. So this is what I've done um, with a niece of mine. I knitted her 
little cardigan a few years ago and then once she'd had it she was so proud of it she wore it she put it on herself I was knitting the next size um, for her next birthday and then she just moved through them without a problem and she was actually really happy that the next one was a slightly different colour that kind of thing you can do the same with babies you can actually gift two sizes at the same time it'd be nice and easy and always recognize that yes if you knit something and it's only worn for maybe even four weeks because the baby's growing so quickly that finished item will go on its journey of it for itself so the love you put into every stitch will go on a journey it won't just sit in the drawer waiting for another baby um, for another 20 years for the grandchildren it will very likely move on through the neighbors through the family and have one baby after another baby and another baby really appreciate those finished knits i really do like the idea of recognizing that a finished item is going through its own journey it's not just sat there static because you finish knitting it it's then moving through generations and lots of different babies once you finish knitting a baby item then move forward and say I'm gonna knit things that aren't dependent on size you can knit baby blankets you can knit face cloths cushion covers for the nursery you can knit little toys that sit on a mobile above the cot um, and then you're gonna say hang on a second I've made a difference um, the parents appreciate it they love what I've knitted and those items can be used for much, much longer. Now, this is where we move on to the announcement because we are having a baby knit along. I love knitting items that are not dependent on size. And this includes baby blankets. Baby blankets are being added to the shop as I speak. <laughs> and they will be ready for you this weekend. Now, the kits will be there and the patterns will be there, but one of the kits and one of the patterns we are going to use is for a knit along. I love knitting baby blankets. I've mentioned this so many times before. I love the fact that baby blankets will be cherished for so long that the teddy bear ends up with it and then it's still hanging around the house um, 10 years after the baby was born. So baby blankets is the first addition to the shop this year and that's the first part of the baby collection that I've decided to create. We are starting a knit along and this is the four corners blanket. We're knitting through four colours. We are knitting from the bottom corner right out to the sides and then into the last corner at the top. And then with the leftovers of the yarn, we knit a hat. So this beautiful baby beanie is the result of the leftovers. I love using leftovers for knitting um, lots of different items. You will very probably be aware of that. This time last year I created a video, what to knit with leftovers, and I cannot help myself when I know there's a possibility that I can get something out of the leftovers from a, a knit, that's what happens, I go for it. We are going to start this knit along on the 1st of March, and on the 2nd of March the first tutorials will be here on YouTube. The beauty of joining the knit along is that you not only get the tutorials that are on YouTube, you get mistake tutorials. What could possibly go wrong when you're knitting this? I've thought of everything and I've created tutorials for you. And the other thing we'll do is live knit alongs. We will get together, knit and natter, and I can answer all your questions. We can share, you can come on video and share what you've been knitting and have great fun with it. So that's what I want to do for the first two weeks of March is get started with this knit along and help you knit through the four corners blanket. You may not finish it in the first two weeks, but you may be so enthusiastic you finish it in the first three days. Who knows? So yes, this is the four corner blanket. I do hope you'll join me. The kit and the pattern will be in the shop this weekend. And if you're in the UK or Ireland, we can post the whole kit to you. But if you're elsewhere in the world and you, you can only get the pattern because we're not shipping outside of the very small areas at the moment, then get the pattern and you can join the knit along as well. You will be part of the party. Okay, so if you want to join that knit along, make sure you're on my email list. Um, I will leave a link below so you can join the email list and I will be sending emails out this weekend to announce when the shop is open and ready for you with those kits. Thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you again soon and we are definitely going to be talking more about baby knitting over the next few weeks. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.